it's me and this is the tea cozy folk vlog with me Susie Galper oh and um, I thought I'd show you first my new design I'm working on it at the moment it's a crofter's cottage it's just a little one-story building thatch cottage cutesy because they wouldn't have been cute back in the day because there were the land workers cottages so they wouldn't have had much time to make them pretty but nobody wants that on their teapot do they <laughs> so i've used a bit of artistic license and i'm gonna make it cute see so it's got a little thatched roof and i thought some flowers and window boxes and i saw a chicken you know people in the country they like to keep chickens don't they and i thought it just makes it cute doesn't it i like cuteness so i thought i'd have a little chicken running around and the worker will want an egg for his breakfast won't he so that's what I'm working on at the minute. As you see, I've not got very far, but it's got a little thatch roof and a door and there'll be a couple of windows on the front. So I thought I'd show that. Now I know it's May, but I've started my Christmas knitting. As I'm sure loads of people have, you know, you have to get ahead of the game, don't you? Anyway, this is the yarn. Look at it, it's lovely. And I'm making socks. Oh, it's that way. It's a cuff down. Look, so that's as far as I've got. I've turned the heel and now I'm on the um, on the foot part. So, well, it sounds like the end is near, but this is a pair of socks I'm making for my son who's got size 13 feet. So I made him a pair of socks before and I seem to remember that you feel like you're knitting forever. But um, yeah, so that's it. And it's um, Head Over Heels by Stylecraft. And this shade's Amazon. And I liked it. It's boyish, isn't it? It's Christmassy, it's boyish. My son loves green, it's always been his favourite colour. He also loves Formula One. And I think that bit looks like chevrons, you know, on a racetrack. So I thought these are perfect for him. He'll love these. So yeah, so this is the first one. So, you know, I do a few rows every day. I'm not going mad or anything, but yeah. Socks, Christmas socks, yay. The pattern I'm working from is knit more vanilla socks. Nothing spectacular, I'm afraid. Just something quite plain and basic. I don't think I'm gifted knitting on four pins doing fancy socks. It's not my thing really, but um, check it out. Oh, ignore all the scribblings. I've put how many rows and things I need to do for my feet. But that's the pattern I'm working with. I think I got it on Ravelry. I'll find the link and put it down below. Have you got this month simply knitting? It's this one. Issue 224. This is what I was gonna show you. That one I wasn't allowed to tell you about. But there's a little supplement with um, Jubilee knitting patterns in. And, um, and there's a tea cozy in here. Um, let me just find it and I'll show you the picture. There it is. So it's a street party. So it's a little street, Victorian townhouses. And the bunting's out, and there's the royal crown on the top. Yeah, that's what I couldn't show you. I'm not allowed to tell you before the time's right. But um, anyway, I'll show you a little video of the actual tea cozy. And, um, and it's in this month's Simply Knitting. So if you want to knit it, get the magazine. Also, um, there's another Tea Cozy design going in, issue 226, but I'll let you know about that near the time. This is a tea cosy I've recently finished. Look, I'll show you the top. <laughs> she's a synchronized swimmer. So she's got, you know, the old fashioned swimming hacks with all the flowers on. And then she's got one leg in the air because she's synchronized swimming, of course. It's a bit like ballet in water, isn't it? And that's what she's doing. She's being test knitted at the moment, so she's not available on the website 
but um, I can't remember what date she's gonna go live. I'll have a look and put it in the notes at the bottom, but she'll be on the website really soon, a couple of weeks tops. A friend of mine's having a baby in a couple of weeks time. I know she's having a little girl and I thought I'd crochet her a baby blanket. Look, this is the pattern I'm using. Add a line crochet baby blanket. It's a really easy pattern. I think I got it on Ravelry. I'll have a look and put the link in the notes below. And I'm knitting it in Robin Bonnie Babe. And the shade number is 1397, in case you wanted to do the same. And um, this is the colour of the yarn. What do you think it is? It's like a pinky background with pink, I don't know, shrimpy colour and a saffrony colour, if you were talking in the Starcraft shades. It's nice anyway, it's girly, it's pretty, and I like the little lacy bits, the lacy stripes, which are just V-stitch. So it's a super easy blanket, it's grown quite quickly. But, um, oh, she told me to use a five and a half hook. And I thought, oh, I'm not using a five and a half hook on DK wool. So I've used a four millimeter hook because it's turned out smaller. So I'm gonna to have to um, do more border, make it bigger. But that's the nice thing about crochet, isn't it? You can just kind of add a bit, make it bigger, make it fit, make it work. So um, yeah, so that's my little baby blanket. So I'm hoping to get it done in a couple of weeks because I think she's due in a couple of weeks. So I've got to get it done. Anyway, I think um, that's it for me. I haven't got anything else to show you, but um, the stuff, you know, happening for June and because it's the Jubilee, we'll all be celebrating the Jubilee in June. So that'll be really lovely. And um, hopefully I'll finish my crofter's cottage in the next couple of weeks. I'll have that to show you as well. And I'll have started a new project. So that'll be really good. So I'll talk to you all again in June. Thanks for watching. Bye.